Perfect. Hi, it's Cynthia with Success in the City TV, and we've got an incredible interview for you today with Dr. R. K. Green. Now, Dr. Green has the comma title, title, title. So she's a marketing consultant. She's a guru. She's an author. She is a professor. She is an all well, all around, very well-rounded woman of today who does it all. But she is an expert in so many things. And what she's done is she stood on that. But really, what's exciting is that not only she can share with us about what she does today, but she's also going to share a little bit about her brand new book that she has out. And I'll let her tell you about that as well. So welcome, Dr. Green. How are you today? Thank you, Cynthia, so much for having me and a warm welcome to your show. I absolutely love it. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm really excited that you join us because I got to be the one to share Google Plus with you and you are and all you are so much into social media. So I'm always excited when I find somebody who loves social media anyway okay. and then jumps on and totally gets it. Oh, I do. I, I am one of those people. I started late into social media, but I quickly caught up because it's so important in today's society. And I think that being able to be interconnected and socially drawn in is so important. I mean, it, it really eliminates the need for the traditional type of advertising. You know, I think that's so true. And you actually consult with companies and help them understand marketing in today. Is social media a strong part of your platform when you consult with clients? I think it's the number one platform that I use, Cynthia. I, I can't tell you how many clients have transitioned from the traditional type of advertising into social media because people are more influenced today by social media than any other form of advertising. You know, I think that there's some truth in that because I think we have an opportunity to get to know the brand on a more intimate basis, to know you. I mean, oh, you are, you're not here in Washington, D.C. with me. With me, You're at, you're at your home working of like course. you. And so it's really compelling that we can actually come together in this really incredibly powerful way. So I'm really excited to have you here. And as we go forward, I want to hear what you're teaching and sharing with your clients about, especially this new technology with Google Plus Framework. So welcome. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about you and what you do and your background. Well, for the past 13 years, Cynthia, I have been literally focused on marketing. I've had the opportunity to, upon graduating with my undergrad, I went straight into the workforce, as many people do. I went into corporate America. I started out as a traditional person does in marketing, marketing coordinating. I had the opportunity to climb that corporate ladder and become a marketing manager. And shortly after that, I, I pretty much got bit by the entrepreneurship bug, and I started RKG Marketing Solutions when I was very young, so to speak, and I worked and I worked and I built my clientele and I understood what it was to build customer relationships. And here we have RKG Marketing Solutions today. In addition to my professorships, I think that's one of the reasons I'm really huge on giving back. And so for me, being a professor definitely allows me to not only share my marketing expertise, but to prepare our upcoming educators for that as well. You know, I think it's really interesting how um, over the years you've been working in this, have you seen marketing shift from, and branding shift from when you began to where we are today? Well, initially everything was product focused. You know, it was if you create this outstanding product, then consumers will come. If we have good services, good products, they're going to come. Well, because it's become so competitive today, Cynthia, that's not the case. You have to be a lot more customer focused than ever before. And so for me and for many of my companies and my clients, it's all about providing that excellent customer experience. I agree. I could not agree with you more. Customer service is, is job one, I think, as you have to say today. Well, you're, doing, you're off doing this. You're teaching. You're speaking. You're consulting, all these other things. But you wrote a book. Tell me what prompted you to write the book. What was it? Um, she, they called me the B word. Now what do I do? What prompted you to write that book? It's so amazing because, and I'm going to hold it up here. So for you to see. It's Thank the you. B word rule book. I absolutely, I love the title. Everyone loves the title of it. And the interesting thing about the book, when I finished my, my final degree, uh, one of my instructors, he said, how are you going to make your impact? What is it that's really going to make your mark? And so for me, I thought about it and I said, you know what? It would really be beneficial if we had a manual that talked about how to really go about getting, you know, setting those goals and really achieving those goals in your dreams 
uh, in terms of entrepreneurship, but then also providing perspective from different women. I think it's so important to be skewed by just one person per se, but I want it an array of perspectives. And so I came up with the idea of the whole B word rule book because in today's society, if you think about it, how many of us have ever been called the B word as we climb that corporate ladder? So I thought about it and I'm like, you know what, we could really make this very interesting. And I actually had a lot of the women featured in the book to select their top 10 B words. And interestingly enough, the uh, traditional B word wasn't one of the uh, words that they selected uh, typically. We had a lot of bold and beautiful and, you know, brash and businesslike and all the above. And so it really worked. It, it definitely worked. And people really love it. And we came up with these 13 rules for women in business today. And it goes in uh, chronological order. Um, and we just talk about, share our experiences and our backgrounds and what really made us come to the point uh, where we are now. You know, I love when you started your conversation that you said it was somebody asked you, so what is your going to be your impact? And oh, I think yeah. we all need to ask ourselves that, and I'm going to be thinking a lot about that now that you mentioned it yeah. here, because what you've written here is going to be impactful, because yes. we share our knowledge and our experiences with other women. Yeah. So, yes. so what's the response been to your book? What, what's been the response? Uh-huh. Well, it's been amazing, Cynthia. I can tell you I've had nothing but good reviews. I think that from men as well, and I will talk about that, but from women, and it doesn't matter the age, it doesn't matter the gender, it doesn't matter the background, of the creed, race, whatever. I've been getting such amazing reviews because people actually love the whole B-word concept and the fact that we made light of that whole B-word. Because when you think about the book, you're thinking, oh, someone wrote a book about being, you know, this, this horrible thing. But it's so not about that. It's actually about empowering women and showing the diversity that exists today and how awesome we all can be and how, you know, very uh, bold that we all can be when we really put our minds towards something. So I can definitely say the response has been absolutely amazing and very well received by everyone. You know, it's really interesting because the conversation, especially in the industry I'm in, often comes up about men and, and women with the perception that men are holding them back. And what I say is that men have never held me back, and I don't think men hold women back. I think women's perceptions hold them back. Oh, my so gosh. I'm, yeah, I'm happy to hear that men are applauding what you've written here. Oh, of course. I'm gonna, I have done uh, various radio interviews and quite a few articles, and what I find is that a lot of the time, and I, and I wrote this in the book, we typically limit ourselves because we, what we think other people may think. And so I tell them, stop thinking about what other people are thinking and do what it is you want to do. And that's just the bottom line. So I, I think, and as you said, a lot of the time it's what we perceive that men are doing. You know, but ultimately, you're in control of your own situation, so take advantage. Absolutely, and I, I think if there's any message we want to leave women with today is yes. you really are in charge of your destiny. There is everything, even more now than ever before, tools and opportunities for you to grow, to own your own life, to own your own business, to do what you yes. want to do. And the only thing that will possibly hold you back is your belief that you are being held back. Would you not agree with that? Oh, I agree on 110 and I always throw the 10% in, but I, I definitely agree with that it, because it's so, it's so much opportunity day and it's so many things that we, we all can do. And the key is, and as I mentioned again in the book, it's all about finding out what you are good at. What is it that you can do that other people cannot do? What makes you different? And that's where you're really going to make your mark. I love it. I love it. So now let me ask you this. I know that you've got people now wanting you to speak and you're going around the country talking about your book and your, your findings here. So how can people reach out to you and what are you doing now that you've written this great book? I am getting ready to start the uh, B Word Rule Book Tour. So we'll, we'll be going to, uh, I think it's about, we have about 15 to 20 of the major cities and it'll be over the next 12 to 15 months and we'll be speaking to various groups, uh, women's groups, uh, universities, colleges, all of the above, just uh, really enhancing the whole B word brand. And if people want to follow me or get in touch with me, all of the above, they can always go to my website, which is www.drkgreen.com. And then we also have the official B word website, which is www.I've been called the B word. Now what do I do.com.
I love it. I love it. Now, will you promise me that if you end up coming anywhere near Washington, D.C., you'll let us know so we can send out the word and let people come by you, and see you? You are definitely on my list, Cynthia. You're the first person on my list. I'm going to definitely make sure that when we come to D.C., you're first on my list. Excellent. I would just so love to see you, hear what you have to say, talk about the book, and continue our conversation. And I yes. want to invite you to, um, to have you back on our show and talk a little bit about marketing today and what you're finding yes. out there and mm -hmm. what you're thinking about social media what tools you're using what you like as you know I'm a strong social media oh, yes. on it I yes. love it I'm just a geeky girl yes. and um, want to hear your too as well your thoughts about Google Plus as you have the opportunity to become familiar and I have some tips for you too so maybe offline we'll share, oh, share some perfect. things you could do so perfect. yeah I would love to be back on the show and again we can talk about all things marketing I love it I love it I love it I've got other people I want to introduce you to so Dr. Green, I can't thank you enough for joining us today. Our conversation has been, I think, enlightening and fun. And I have to say, definitely energetic. You are a girl after my own heart. Oh, my so, God. I, lo I love your energy. I'm feeding off of your energy, Cynthia. I really am. Well, thank you very much. So I can't wait to see you again. We'll continue the conversations, and we'll maybe continue talking about more social media tips and techniques Perfect. and marketing because I know everybody wants to know that because we really are in charge of our own businesses. Oh, too. we are. We definitely are. And I think it's so important to be connected. Connected. I all that's my, my, my key term stay connected I agree I agree words to the wise all right so until next time stay connected and we will yep. be seeing you and I can't thank you enough dr. green for joining us today thank you for having me Cynthia it's been wonderful